Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to go over my dendrobiums. I've split them up into two sections. So the left hand side uh, is the black hair dendrobiums. The group is uh, Formosa and then the right hand side is not the black hair dendrobiums. Out of all the dendrobiums, I really like the black haired variety and I've made an effort to have a varied collection of that specific one. There's something about the white and orange, although in some cases there's no orange, and the shape of the flowers that I really like. So I'll go over that one first. So I'll talk about the Dendrobium tobiense variation gigantium, I think it's called. My seedlings. I think this is the third time I've tried uh, getting a flask of these because I couldn't find an adult plant, and so far they're doing pretty well, so I'm happy with them. I really like the, I call it the tongue of the flower. I think it's really neat how it just stands out. Um, so it's definitely one I really wanted to have in my collection. This one is Dendrobium bellatulum. It's the first Dendrobium I ever purchased. And out of all my orchids, I think I like this flower the most. It doesn't grow super well for me. I'm not sure why. Previously, I've been giving it a winter rest, meaning I would spray it once a week during the winter time when it's a bit cooler, but I haven't had very good growth on the pseudobulbs, so this past winter I just kept watering it every day as usual and I've gotten better growth, but still the pseudobulbs aren't that big. If anything, this plant does bloom regularly for me, so that's a plus, even though the growth habit or the way it's growing for me is not super great. I know Paramount Orchids is going to have this plant in stock this summer, so I don't usually do this, but I'm going to get a duplicate of this plant just in case, for whatever reason, this plant doesn't do well for me. And this one is Dendrobium carniferum. And it has a new growth right there. You can't really see, but it's there. I initially had this in semi-hydro, and I would give it a complete one month dry rest, meaning no water at all. But um, if you can see from the pseudobulbs, it didn't like that. Um, so this past winter, I just watered it and fertilized it as normal throughout the winter, and I was able to grow this one. So that's a huge improvement. I will also say that for all the black hair dendrobiums I've potted in semi-hydro, I don't think they really liked it that much so I've transferred all of them to lava rock. Anyway, I didn't get any blooms this year even though the growth has been a lot better but I'm hoping next year at least um, I can get some blooms. It has really waxy like orange flowers so I'm looking forward to this. This one is Dendrobium scabrolingu. I feel like the flower is more understated compared to the other ones, but I still like it and I like the smell as well. I think I mentioned this previously, but it smells like cilantro and it has a new bud here. Um, I've recently repotted it into lava rock because it wasn't stable in semi-hydro, uh, but it hasn't pushed out any new growths yet. And this is Dendrobium christianum. Uh, it's my most re recent acquisition. But I've repotted it into lava rock, and when I did that, it split up into two parts. There's this part, and then this looks like it's a bit shriveled. But on the shriveled one, there, I think it's either a flower bud or a cakey. Uh, I'm hoping it's a cakey, that way I can have more of this plant. But yeah, not much to say about it right now, but it seems to be doing well so far in my environment. And this is Dendrobium longicornu. When I purchased it, it was originally a larger plant, but it split into two parts, and the only part that survived was this little part. It was a little bit disheartening, but after I saw it pushed out this shoot, I felt a little bit better. But more recently, the leaves have started yellowing, and I'm not sure what's wrong, but there is a new shoot growing at the bottom there. It's right there. So I think this will be okay. I like the shape of the flower, it's a trumpet shape. And this one is Dendrobium draconis. Again, like the other ones, I've repotted it into lava rock. Didn't really fare too well in semi-hydro. And so far, it seems to really like the lava rock. 
Uh, the latest growth was this one, and I think it's done growing, or maybe almost done growing. The new growth is not super great, but it's a lot better than the previous one that tried to grow. The flowers on this one are pretty awesome, um, very waxy, and even though the growths haven't been that good, um, the flowers still come. So this is, a, this is a good plant to have. This one is Dendrobium virginium. I haven't bloomed it yet, but I've always had it in a uh, lava rock. Seems like it's a pretty easy grower. This one and this one um, are the latest growths. It's a bit hard to tell, but there's a new growth growing on the larger pseudobulb. Hopefully I can get it to bloom for me next year. This is Dendrobium formosum. It's been doing okay for me. I haven't had it too, too long. Out of all the black hair dendrobiums, this was the slowest to start pushing out a new growth. But it's pushed this one out and, I le and it looks pretty healthy, so that's good. The flowers are supposed to be pretty giant. I don't know if it's blooming size, but I'm looking forward to the blooms when I eventually get them. Uh, so these two are dendrobium lina wianum, and I got these at our Orchid Society raffle. It was originally one plant and originally mounted, but I didn't want to take care of this mounted. <laughs> so uh, I potted it up in lava rock and went from this little guy to these big pseudobulbs. Well, relatively big pseudobulbs, so that's good. This one is the latest growth. It's doing pretty well. And this one, I believe, was a keiki. And I potted it up separately to eventually give away. Uh, flowers are supposed to be purple, but I haven't been able to bloom it yet. And this is Dendrobium ex usite. The name is a little bit weird, but the flowers are really cool. It's supposed to be a naturally occurring hybrid, and there's two varieties that I'm aware of. There's a red and yellow one, and then there's the purple and orange, which is the regular one, which is the one I have. This should be blooming size. I should be able to get blooms on this. When I initially brought this home, I had issues with the leaves being like accordion leaves, but since I've grown new growths on it, the leaves are fine. It's just the previous leaves didn't do well. It's been pushing out quite a few new growths and also new roots, so I think it's relatively happy the way it is right now. This is Dendrobium antenatum 4N, crossed with uh, Dendrobium strebloceras 4N. It was originally one plant, but when I repotted it into a larger container, I split it off and the smaller division is going to a member of the Orchid Society. It was doing really well for me, but I think it had a thrips infestation. I'm not sure if they're thrips, but it had an infestation, so I had to isolate it and treat it. The infestation appears to be resolved and I've put it back in its regular place. And it's pushing out a few new growths, so that's good. I really like the flowers on this one, and they do last a long time, so it's a good one to have. This particular one does well in semi-hydro, so that's good for me. Last but not least is my Dendrobium Sherry Ape. It's Dendrobium Peter Shen crossed with Spectabuli. I think I bought it as a seedling, I think a large seedling, and so far it's done well for me other than lack of blooms. So like the Antonatum cross that I just showed, uh, I had a problem with some infestation. I don't know what kind of bug it is. I think what happened was one got infested and then infected the other plant and then just kind of went back and forth because I didn't bother to split them. But this one I've isolated recently and I've just dealt with it with uh, rubbing alcohol. Just sprayed it down. So far I haven't seen the bugs come back, um, but I'm just going to wait a few more days before I put it back in its regular location. And the tallest growth you see there is the latest growth. This is actually quite a tall plant, so definitely not for small spaces. But hopefully I can get this to bloom. Alrighty, so those are all my dendrobiums that I have so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!